Just as there is an adjust decal tool in object mode, there is now also an adjust trim tool in edit mode. To run it, select the faces of a trim, bring up the pie, and choose adjust. The tool shares a few features with the unwrap trim tool. For instance, you can rotate your trim by scrolling with the mouse. And you can change it by control scrolling. And like any modal tool in decal machine, you can finish by pressing space or the left mouse button, or you can cancel with the escape key or the right mouse button. There are also options to adjust how a trim fits. Again, they are the same as in unwrapped trim, with the addition of the default none option. Cycling through them doesn't seem to do anything for this trim, and that's because it fits the trim perfectly already. Unlike unwrap trim, adjust trim doesn't unwrap anything, it just works on the existing UV faces. Once I rotate the trim, and thereby cause it to misalign, the fit modes will start working. What you can also do with the tool is manually move trims, by using the W or G keys. And you can reset any movement you have done, using Alt plus W or G. In most cases you'll want to use an axis lock when moving. So you should press X or Y, after you've activated movement, and before you start moving the mouse. Understand that these axes, and the movement itself, will always happen in screen space. So moving the mouse to the right, will move the trim to the right as well, no matter how you look at it. Scaling works essentially the same. Moving horizontally is especially useful for panel trims. Because you can slide detail on the trim around. If you have a misaligned trim, either because you've used the movement or scale features, or maybe because you have manually unwrapped a selection and have roughly positioned it on a trim in UV space, you can then just set fit to auto, to perfectly align your selection with the trim. And if you change to a different trim, it will be automatically fit using auto mode as well. For more on what auto fit does, check out the unwrapped trim video. Now, if you take a look at the example sheet, you can notice that the central sections of many of the panel trims are left empty. Any detail is focused on the sheet's left or right side. And so if you set up your sheets like this too, you can take advantage of that with the quick scale option in adjust trim. If you press Q with the tool active, the panel trim will be scaled to cover half of the sheet's width, thereby excluding all detail on the outsides. Let me do that again with the UVs visible. And once more, for another panel trim. Also, here's a tip for dealing with distortions in panel trims, with trapezoid faces. All you have to do is, move a vert of the face horizontally in the UV editor. But since this isn't even a quad anymore, I'll just add an extra cut for this purpose. Then pick a vert and move it, until the distortion is gone. Now, since I had UV sync selection enabled, I have also moved another instance of this vert, somewhere else in the UVs. So I just unwrapped that face here to the empty trim again.
the adjust tool is a quick and fun way to explore options, modify your trims, and do it right from the 3D view. If you want, you can use it in the UV editor as well. For movement and scaling however, the native Blender tools offer a better experience there.